What's up, guys? Welcome back to the channel. Austin here. And Ethan. And it looks like Xbox just dropped some news on Twitter regarding the Xbox and Bethesda game showcase. It's going to be coming up June 13th during E3 2021. It looks like it's going to be 10 a.m. PT, 1 p.m. ET, and 6 p.m. BST. So make sure you tune in for that. This is coming from comicbook.com saying that there are some teases about the Halo multiplayer possibly coming out around the time of E3. So we're expected to get this in the lead up to launch. So a lot of big Halo multiplayer news coming on the way. That would be excellent right now as it would be the perfect kind of platform for them to market Halo Infinite's single player campaign by just pumping out the multiplayer. Yeah, we already know that this is gonna be free for everybody, regardless of whether or not you have a gold subscription for your Xbox Live service. Getting it out and getting it on Game Pass and getting it to all the, the, the user base is excellent leading up to E3. So Eason, what do you think about the possible leaks? What are you hoping to see from the Halo multiplayer? And uh, how excited are you? I'm pretty freaking excited. And seeing the screenshot too with the assault rifle, the, the skins for the assault rifle, at least that one looks pr pretty spicy. I'm going to say that right now. These Spartans look like badasses. Yeah, yeah, they really do. And um, I, I like how the weapons don't look like, uh, like you said, Power Ranger weapons from Halo 5. Like they actually... Oh, I hated them. I hated them They so actually much. look cool yeah not like an <laughs> arena sports shooter i'm super pumped for it yeah i'm really hoping that we get gameplay and they show us a lot of the new modes with the new weapons Dude, we gotta get gameplay it, it's gotta, gotta come at some gameplay. point like, you know what i mean on. and you it's, it's gotta, so the way i see it going is it's either one of two ways they're in at comicbook.com they're thinking that the teases are for a lead up to launch or lead up to e3 that's totally understandable and uh, it makes sense but also i think that the kind of weight that you, I mean, if Phil Spencer comes on stage, you know, it's a digital presentation and I understand that, but if he comes up on screen and he drops the hammer and says, and it's available right now, how many people do you think are going to stay tuned? Probably, probably like after the, like once the conference is over, he'll be like, yeah, we went over some great things, including the multiplayer, by the way, it's out now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, and how incredible oh, would that yeah, be? Dude. Holy crap. The same day. I mean, it's going to mess up with our coverage for sure. We plan on covering a lot of content come E3. I don't know it'll how take, feasible that's going to be if we're able to play the Halo it'll multiplayer. It'll take priority for sure. <laughs> <laughs> for sure. All right. So that's all the news that we have. Do you have any hopes? I mean, I have a concern, but do you have any hopes leading into this? I hope that they don't neglect the, the campaign. Like, I hope they show how much the campaign has actually progressed. Like, like, I don't want them to give a whole, like, big showing like they did last year, but I do want them to at least show something that'll be, like, set our minds at ease from what we saw from last Absolutely. year. Absolutely. And, uh, you know, I don't think they need to focus on the narrative. I think just show us the tasks that we're going to be doing or the world that we're going to be exploring. Yeah, like, flesh out, I, I, flesh out know, that map that they showed us. Like, give us an idea exactly. of, like, exactly what those things meant. So, my big concern is that Battle Royale... They might uh, come back on that statement that they said the only BR I'll in Halo is them. Battle Royale. I'm really concerned that they're going to will destroy them, call it something else to get themselves out of that bucket. You know what I mean? I really don't want that to yeah. happen as much as I'd love to have a Battle Royale. I Halo is just not that. And I don't want it to become the next Call of Duty Warzone if Halo Infinite takes off the way we think it is. Yeah, don't give me a Battle Royale. Give me Forge. <laughs> give me forge give me custom yeah give, give me like we just had a video where we talked about spies versus mercs from splinter cell and how incredible that mode was at the time i would love it if like it was one spartan versus a bunch of odsts give me that give me that give me cool fun game modes like we just got gun game in master chief what's it called escalation uh yeah yeah escalation and that yeah, the, the the odst mode actually sounds pretty fun because it's like that's like could be like a lore thing too like because it's like okay you know like oh DSTs get some training in with the Spartan and like the Spartan kicks their asses. <laughs> I don't know. I just thought about that. <laughs> or or there's just a they, or Master Chief just goes rogue again and they call an Order yeah. 66 and all the ODSTs yeah. just turn on the Spartans. Yeah, just just give us oh, what is it you always say, Eason? Give us a, a what? Good game. Good game. Just give us a good game. Yeah, good game. All right. Good, good game. game. All right. Good game. Hey, you made it to the end of the video. Thank you so much for watching. If you guys enjoyed, please leave a like, comment down below, and subscribe. So until next time, take it easy, guys.